In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the crankshaft position sensor on this Dodge Ram 2500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. It's located on the bottom of the engine towards the back where it meets the transmission on the passenger side. So let's get started. On the passenger side of your engine block where the engine meets the transmission, you'll see that this right here is your crankshaft position sensor. You can access it from underneath and you can see it from either the front of your front axle or through the two uh, upper and lower control arms here. There it is. I'm gonna grab the connector with some pliers, wiggle it and pop it off of the crank position sensor. Be very gentle with it, but a lot of times it gets stuck with sand and debris buildup in there. Check it for corrosion. A lot of times these do corrode because they're out in the open. This one looks good. So at this point, let's take a 10 millimeter socket, back this bolt out and remove the sensor. There we go. Sometimes you have to hammer those on just because the bolt gets a little rusty. Back the bolt off. It should not be very tight. If it's in poor condition, replace it. Mine's all right, so I'm gonna reuse it. Grab the sensor with some pliers and carefully twist it back and forth to remove it. There's an O-ring in there and that's gonna hold you up most likely. Try not to break it. If you break it, you're gonna to have to extract it out of the block and that's not fun. I'm using a screwdriver at the same time to help pry it out as I twist it back and forth. There we go. There's your sensor. Take your new crank position sensor. You can put a little bit of oil on that O-ring. That usually helps it slide in. And when you put it in, you'll notice that it goes almost all the way in, but the O-ring still needs to pop through. However, when you do that, you wanna make sure you do it by hand and not press it in with the bolt, because if you do, it can damage the sensor. It can twist the ear. So what I'm doing is I'm applying pressure and twisting it. That usually seats it pretty well. And there we have it. That's completely seated, so let's get the bolt and tighten it up. Stick the bolt in, thread it on by hand to make sure it goes in smoothly. Make sure you don't cross thread it. And we'll bottom it out. That's bottomed out and snugged right there. Let's give it about an eighth of a turn. That should be plenty tight. You don't wanna break anything. Plug the connector back in. Make sure it clicks, and there you have it. If you had a check engine light, clear it, turn the truck on, and make sure it runs properly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.